Hey Ape Scholars, I wanted to make a quick channel update video so that you know what to expect for the second semester this year. Now last year I focused on FRQ writing skills with the FRQ Friday series. You can check out that playlist if you want to see my grading feedback for 10 different practice FRQs with student answers submitted by viewers just like you. This semester I'm shifting the focus to a new unit review video series that's going to go through frameworks or systems thinking and I'm really excited about it. See I've already created a ton of unit review videos, unit review guides, practice math and FRQ packets, full length practice exams and bundled it all together in the ultimate review packet. But this year, I wanna make the ultimate review packet even more useful for you, so I'm adding a new review option for each unit, and that's a unit framework review. In my next video, I'll share the story of the student I have this year that inspired these new unit frameworks and share the unit five framework with you. Now, my goal with this series is to help you make the leap from just recalling sets of facts for each unit test to building nine interconnected frameworks for each unit that will really help you ace the exam in May. And whether or not you purchase the ultimate review packet, there's still gonna be tons of free YouTube review videos coming later this spring. I'll be putting out videos breaking down nine week, six week, and three week study plans, as well as a list of must know vocab terms for every unit so that you can be totally ready for that exam in May. Then the week before the exam, I'll be doing three live stream review sessions to cover all of the content that you need to know. Two of those will be right here on this YouTube channel, and one will be an exclusive Q&A session through the ultimate review packet as an extra special thank you. Thanks so much for tuning in today, Ape Scholar. I hope you're as excited about this second semester as I am. Just stop for a second and think about the fact that what you're doing in your apes class every day and with the videos on this channel here is truly unique. You are mastering the discipline of environmental science. After high school and college, when else are you gonna spend hundreds of hours systematically studying and practicing a completely new field of knowledge? Where else in your life are you gonna get the chance to learn so much so fast with the level of accountability and guidance that you truly master what you're studying? I mean, sure, you're not gonna remember all of the individual individual facts you learn in this class in 10 years, but you're going to look at grocery stores, gas stations, soccer fields, trees, the sky, your own backyard in a totally new light. This is what mastering a discipline does for you. And I'm even willing to bet that you're going to look at yourself a little bit differently. You'll see someone who's capable of working hard towards this noble pursuit of mastery. Someone who can give serious time and attention and planning to teachers and their classmates and their assignments. Even without individual discrete facts stored in your memory, like the steps of the nitrogen cycle, you're going to gain serious chunks of new knowledge. And since knowledge is the stuff you think with, you will be capable of thoughts that were impossible to have before. My sincere hope is that you leave this class this spring with much more than a passing exam score. I hope you leave with a little bit of wonder and awe and some pride about the transformative process of learning, especially learning about this unique little planet that all living things we're aware of share. As always, think like a mountain and write like a scholar.